Let's make a matching game in minutes. What's up, I'm Hypes I play games, make games everywhere. And for the last month, I was living in Toronto, Canada's biggest and most diverse city, which I'm all about. Amazing in the summertime, stay away during the winter. Went to a Nigerian Jamaican wedding and caught up with some friends I haven't seen in over a decade. Amazing food <laughs> and horrible food as well. That's how it is sometimes. While I was in Canada, enjoying the summer, I was working on a matching template I made so that anybody can make a matching game in minutes on their phone, tablet, or desktop browser. Let's go check out this matching template. This template is super basic because it's meant for you or anyone to create their own matching game. In this game, all you have to do is tap on the object, it flies up in the air, and then you just need to match the colors and you got a game over. There is a leaderboard already set up. All the mechanics are set up. All you have to do is go in here and change those cubes to whatever object you want in the asset library. To begin, we hit this revolutionary button called the remix button. This button is changing the way people make and play games. Take two fingers and you can move the screen around pinch to zoom out. We're gonna turn the logic on and we can see we have some instructions, how to get started. I have a random music mixer that already plays the music, sound effects and everything is included. All we have to do is go into these cubes and change the object. Big cubes are the objects you wanna change. The small cubes have all the mechanics. If you hit advanced, you can see there's a collision trigger, a vector transform, broadcast with destroyer. You don't need to mess with any of this. All you need to do is select the big cube, select the basic tab, hit the green cube. There's thousands of thousands of assets. Today, we're gonna just use cool sci-fi guns. Ooh, definitely a bazooka, actually. That's not so much sci-fi unless you're using a bazooka in space. This bazooka looks a little small, so we can select the scale object and make it a little bit bigger. And we can see the X, Y, Z scaling as it gets bigger. Maybe around two should be good. Select this one and let's go ahead, select this sci-fi gun and make it a little bit bigger. If we want to put exact amounts, we can just select the X number on the bottom and adjust it accordingly. I like to mix this up depending on what changes I'm making. And we can even make this one a little bit fatter by selecting the red icon and moving it. You can see the red line and the object moving accordingly. If you're new to High Pipe, I have other videos going over the editor and how to navigate. Check out those videos. This gun looks cool. Definitely need to make this one bigger. And I'm gonna change the colors. I'm changing the colors just by hitting the material objects. Looking good. Let's go this sci-fi gun. This one looks cool. Let's change these colors around. There we go, that looks good. Oh, this one's like a rifle. Make this one a little bit fatter. We got one left. Make it a little bit bigger. Change that to yellow. We got all the visual aesthetics for the guns. Let's hit play. We can test it out. Play testing is always important in game development because there's always going to be bugs. And that is set. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to change some of the sizes of these a little bit more. Zoom in. I want to make this gun, yeah, kind of like a shiny yellow. And if we want to change any colors, materials, we can always add new colors by going to the visual menu, selecting the colors, hit copy, and there's even a cool color wheel. You can do a lot with the colors. That's a cool yellow pink. Let's add that to this color right here. Look at that. Right here, this is a wall that keeps all the objects in place. And there's even a top so the objects don't fly out. These are already set up, so don't make any adjustments to that. Next, I want to change the floor. Right now, we have a wooden floor, which is kind of basic and doesn't work well with the gun. So let's go ahead, select and delete. We hit asset, type in tile set. And here we have a futuristic ground. Let's go ahead and we can select paint. This has multiple variations. And what we see is the first variation. Variant. This is the second one. I think I like the second one a little bit more. Let's take a look at the third. Here we can see the difference between the two. Let's go ahead and select how the colors look a little different. Looking at this, I think I'm gonna go with the second variant. Let's select paint, select the variant on the bottom. Let's go like this. Kinda like finger painting. Let's hit back. Oh, we've got two in the middle. There we go. Now we hit play. Looks good. I'm gonna add another visual color. I want another light gray. See if we can't make this shinier. 
Uh, that's a little bit too shiny. Looks good. We just need to take it down just a little bit, maybe to point seven one. The game is set up. Let's play it. Match these guns. And let's change this to match sci-fi guns. The game is ready to be published, but before we do that, we want to get a screenshot. So let's go over here. And I'm gonna move this so we can read it. Match sci-fi guns. We're gonna bring out this arrow, select thumbnail, takes a screenshot, we hit save, confirm, and we can do match sci-fi guns. Here the leaderboard is in the sort order for the leaderboard is already set up. So all we have to do is hit publish and now anybody can play this matching game. If you want to check out the game, link is down below. If you want to see the first game I ever made with Hype Hype or any other game, I have videos going through the development process. Until next time, I'm Hype C. Stay safe out there and peace.